particular section. We're going to use um, some different equipment to work the inner outer thighs. You're going to hit your hamstrings again here and also the gluteal muscles. We have two different Dyna bands that I'm going to use. If you have beginners in your class, you want to stick with either a blue or you can get a light resistance Dyna band, but I prefer to use the medium Dyna band. And then for a couple different exercises, you can switch to the heavier Dyna band when we do the hip extension and we also do hamstrings. You may want to switch to the heavier band. But for today, what I'm going to just use is I'm going to use the medium blue Dyna band for the next couple exercises. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to tie the Dyna band in a knot. Okay, this is a three foot Dyna band. Okay, you want to make sure they tie it really well, too, because sometimes halfway through they open up and make a noise and everybody laughs and you know. Okay, now for support you can use the step or they can hold on with the body bar. For the first exercise I'm going to do, we're going to um, do a hip extension and then we're going to do hamstrings. Okay, now I'm not going to hold on for the hip extension, but this also builds a little ankle strength. But for people in your class, you may, once again, you, want, you may want to have them hold on to the step, okay, just like this. Or if you have a bar in your gym, they can hold on to the bar. You know, if you're on your deck, you can hold on to your deck. Okay, what you want to do with this exercise, you want to make sure they're pulling the tummy in nice and tight. You're going to take your left leg back or your right leg, whichever you prefer to start with. I'm on my right leg right here. You're going to turn your toe out just a little bit. Okay, you want to make sure they keep the band tight the whole time. They don't want to come in and have it loose like this. So you want to have them step back, turn the toe out a little bit. You want to keep this knee a little bit bent and the tummy in. You're going to have them stand up tall. Now, if they're holding on, they have support here. Okay, you're going to just squeeze back, back, and in. Now, if they're not holding on to anything, they can use their hands if that's a little bit easier. Just squeezing the gluteus straight back and in. This is hip extension and lateral rotation. That's the function of the gluteus maximus. I usually do about eight or ten of these. Then I pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then I do another set, nice and slow. Squeeze and in. They really feel these, especially with the purple Dyna band. If you have more advanced participants, you might want to get those purple Dyna bands out for them. Four more, or they can choose. I have both and let them choose. Two more, and one. Now pulse it back. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then you're going to shake it out. We're going to switch sides. I really feel this. Also, it really isolates that muscle. Okay, we're going to switch to the other leg. And once again, you're going to go straight back. And you're going to turn that toe out a little bit. Take it back and in, back and in, back and in. You can see this helps your balance and stability here by doing this. Make sure they keep that base leg a little bit bent. Let's pulse it back. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And back and in, back and in, back and in. Four more, and three, two, and one. Now let's pulse it. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. Now after you've done those other two sections for your lower body, they're really, really going to feel this. Or if you're doing a slide class, this will really help if you finish the inner outer thighs off with this kind of work. Okay, now we're going to do a hamstring curl, and I definitely recommend you have them hang on to something, okay? I'm going to do this so you can see it from the back. I'll set myself up, then I'll hold a step and you can see it from the side, okay? You want to have them take their band and step on it, okay? They're going to take this knee and put it a little bit behind the other knee, okay? So this is what it looks like from the back, okay? And from the side, when you're holding on to the bench, you want to step on your band. Now, for some people, this hamstring exercise is very difficult, so you'd want to have a blue Dyna band on for the people who are just beginning. Okay? Now, you're going to lock that knee right behind your other knee. You're going to pull your tummy in nice and tight, and you're going to curl up.
and slowly down. I make them curl, hold, slowly down. Curl, hold, slowly down. Curl, hold, slowly down. Curl and hold, slowly down. Four more, and down, and three, and down. Two more, curl, and down. One more time, curl, now pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And they'll really feel that. You could do a couple sets of those, but you really, really feel that. Okay, I'm just gonna switch to the other side for you guys that are following along with me. And we'll do the other side. Okay, now once again, you wanna, you gotta lock these knees together. This will not work if you have your knees out and apart. You wanna lock it in nice and tight. And we're gonna do a set over here. Take it up and hold and slowly down. Curl and hold, slowly down. You wanna make sure they hold that contraction right at the top, slowly down because they're gonna have a tendency to just curl it up and drop it right back down because these are a little difficult. Curl up, slowly down. The quads are a lot stronger than your hamstrings. Slowly down. Curl up, hold, slowly down. Curl and hold, slowly down. Two more. Slowly down, one more time. Now pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now we're gonna do some inner outer thigh work. Now if you have someone in your class that has any knee conditions or any knee problems, any ACL tears, this may not be the best exercise for them. Okay, you can put this band up around your thighs to do the stepping side to side. I don't particularly like it there, but that may be one option for someone who has a knee problem. Um, I've been doing this for several years and I haven't had anyone remark about doing this around the ankles. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna march out on the left lead. So you'll be following me and marching on your right. Okay, I'm gonna step two, just to start out with, step, step and back and back. Now you want to keep the band tight the whole time. They're really going to feel this after a while. After about eight, they're going to really feel it. So I just do a few to get them used to it. Okay? Then we're going to add in a hamstring curl. So we're going to step, step, and curl, and then come back. And then we're going to add in a few more curls from there. Okay? Four, three, two, step two and curl. One, two, curl and curl, and curl, and curl, and curl. I'm gonna do this four more times, then we'll take a little break, they'll need it. And then we're gonna add in five hamstring curls. Okay, let's just march it out, take a little break. So we'll step two, curl five, and bring it back. On four, three, two, step two, curl. Five, four, three, two, and step. One, two, curl. Four, three, two, and go. Step, step, and curl. Take it back, and curl. And march it out. Okay, now you can add a lot of variations. You can step two and do double curls. You can just stay in place and do hamstring curls. You know, you can just step two, you can step four. But you can't do too many of these, and you'll see when you do it yourself that you really, really feel that you're working a very, very small muscle in here. So you can't do too many. Okay, now we're gonna switch to a little bit of inner thigh stuff. Now, you wanna encourage them that they don't have to go with the music. If you'll notice, the music is slower in this section than it was in the beginning, because we're basically kind of going a little bit with the music as opposed to going half time. Okay, for inner thighs, you're gonna cross and squat. Okay, now once again, you don't have to go with the music, but to get those inner thighs, you gotta cross over, okay? We're gonna start after four and three. Just gonna cross and squat. Cross, squat, cross, squat, cross, squat, cross, squat. Now 
if you notice, I'm doing all the same leg right here. Okay, you can alternate the legs, which I'll show you in a little bit. You do one more, squat, and in. Okay, now we're gonna go with the right. Okay, ready? Take it right, and open. Well, actually, it's your left, if you're with me. Cross, and squat. I don't care what leg, just do the other leg. Cross, squat, cross, squat. And so you're still getting the butt a little bit more. It's already tired, you're gonna really burn the muscle out. Okay, now. You can add in pulses. You can pulse for three. Pulse it, one, two, three, squat. One, two, three, squat. One, two, three, squat. One, two, three, and squat. Other side, here we go. Take it, one, two, three, squat. Once again, this just requires a lot of balance to do these particular exercises. So it's very, very functional training because you need balance in your everyday activities. Squat. Now once again, you can alternate the legs, cross, squat, and in, cross, squat, in, cross, squat, in. You can make this up any way you want. Okay, you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it. I'm just showing you different exercises. Okay, now with the same Dynaband on, you can come over to the bar, the deck, use your bench, Use your body bar. I'm gonna use the bench here, just to hold on to. Okay, now we're gonna hit the inner outer thighs once again. Now, what you wanna do is decide right or left or inside outside leg. Okay, you wanna have them point their toe in front of the other leg. They're gonna bend the knee up a little bit and pulse, 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 and pulse. This is just a real small movement to hit that inner thigh. You've got to be crossed over. You're doing adduction here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now cross, just cross, step out. Cross, step out. Cross, step out. Now here you're hitting inner thigh, outer thigh. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Inner, outer. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now, you can just do all outer thigh here. You're just gonna pulse it out. Pulse out, out, out. They're really gonna be mad at you now. Just give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm just gonna switch over to the other side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Once again, you wanna make sure they have their tummy in, this base leg, the knee's a little bit bent. Have them point their toe right in front of the other toe. This is to get them to cross their leg over. Okay, bend the knee up and pulse it. I usually do about three sets of eight, this pulsing here. You wanna make sure they're not going out and over and out and over like this. It's just a nice little small move. They also do this with the cable in the weight room, if you'll notice people do this. Once again, we're bringing the weight room into the aerobic room. Let's do four more. Three, two, now cross it out, cross and out, cross and out. Now you don't have to do a squat here unless you want to. Once again, you do an inner, outer, inner, outer. Four more times. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're just gonna pulse it out and do those outer thighs one more time. Then I have a couple more exercises for the inner outer thighs. So you have plenty by the time you're done seeing this video. Okay, just pulse it out, 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 and out. Just give me four more. Three, two, and one. All right. Now you can go ahead and take the Dynaband off. You want to make sure that you untie the Dynaband also. You don't want to leave these tied, which is very easy. I tell people to roll it. If you just roll it, it comes right undone very easily. Just like that, okay? Now this next section, we're gonna use the tubes, and we're gonna use a mat. Now, and it's optional to use the bench, just depending on how much equipment you have in your gym. Okay, if you don't have enough equipment on this one particular exercise to double up the tubes, what I suggest you do 
So use the heaviest tube that you can, which would challenge tubing, it would be the silver. So I'm just gonna show you this part, because I do have two tubes. You can take it right underneath the bench, okay? Okay, so this is for your inner thighs, if you only have one tube, because this is gonna shorten the band up and give you a little more resistance. I prefer to use two tubes, but you would lay on the bench and put the tubes on just how I'm gonna do on the mat. This is an option if your particular facility or you at home only have one tube. Okay, now this will be for inner thighs. Just for color change, I'm gonna use pink. Okay? Okay, I'm using a medium and a heavy tube right now, just to show you. I better tie my shoe so I can run away from the bee and not fall down. Okay, this is a little crazy way to do things here, but you're gonna take the tube, put it right over your shoe, and you slide it around your back. Now this is what you would do on the bench. The tube would be underneath the bench and you'd still be putting it up over onto your shoes. Now I'm gonna add an additional tube because this is gonna add some more resistance. Now if you have a very beginner in your class, you may only wanna have them use one tube, but a heavy teal tube should probably be still okay. Okay, now you wanna make sure these tubes are good and secure on your shoes so they don't fly off and hit you or somebody else in the face. Now you're gonna rock back onto your mat. Now you wanna make sure that your participants have their legs right over their hips. You don't wanna have them hanging out like this because already my back is arching. Okay, so you wanna keep them right up over the hips. Once again, there's a million variations on how you can do this exercise. I'm just gonna show you a few and you pick out yourself what you'd like to do. Now, to work the inner thighs, it's adduction, okay? So that's why we have the, the bands on the outside. But for more resistance, you wanna hang on to the bands and pull in. Now, if you wanna add even more resistance here, you can hold on like this, and that'll shorten the tubes up even more. So I'm gonna hold on like this. Okay, just open up, and as you're pulling in, you hang on to the bands. Now you wanna pull in through the heels, not the knees. And if you have to turn your toes out a little bit, that's okay. Just make sure you're pulling in through the heels and not through the knees. Okay, so we're gonna open, hang on, pull in. Very similar to um, the uh, inner thigh machine that you'll see in the weight room. And then the other exercise we're gonna do for your outer thighs, once again, is very similar to that same machine. Okay, I'm just opening and pulling in. Open, pull in. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now, stay open, you're gonna pulse in a little, just in a little. Very small pulses, but they'll really, really feel this. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now open up again. Open, hang on as you come in. Hang on as you come in. Now you'd be doing the same thing up on the bench. Okay, so you might wanna have a towel with you or have your participants bring a towel to class with them if you don't have a mat that would be suitable to do this exercise on the bench. Okay, now you're gonna take your right leg and cross it over your left leg. You're gonna hang on to the band and just pulse that right leg. This is really when they're gonna feel this. I do three sets of eight pulsing. Okay, you're working very small muscles here, so you don't really wanna work these you know, to exhaustion. You just wanna work them so you can feel them and just have them tone up a little bit. Just wanna chisel off a little bit of that inner thighs, a little bit of that outer thighs. Okay, we got two more sets of eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set of eight. Almost through. They'll really, really feel this. It's four, three, two. Now let's open up for four more. Pull in. And three. And two. And one. Now cross that left leg over and pulse. Hang on to the left bands and pulse it. It's four, three, more sets. So you fold them. They think that you're counting down, they're almost done. And then you say three more sets. And then they whine and scream and holler and tell you they love you when you get the results that they're looking for. 
It's four, three, two, just eight more really, really and truly. Four, three, two, let's open right up. Last four. I know, I say that all the time. Always tell them last four and then do 40 more. Last one. All right. Now just take your arms out. Just gonna rock up. Take those bands off. Put the microphone back on. Okay, now a little isometric exercise we're gonna do here for the inner thighs once again. You just use a couple platforms. You're just gonna squeeze in on the platforms. I always say pretend it's somebody that you don't like and you wanna just... So you're gonna squeeze in on the platforms. Have them touch their inner thighs because you can really feel them tighten up right here. This is an isometric exercise. Just tightening in the muscles, basically just contracting but staying about the same length. It's not lengthening or shortening. And you just wanna have them hold for a couple sets of eight and tell them stories and what you did the night before and your microwave blew up and everything. That's what I do. And then release and then they don't realize how long they've been sitting there. And I usually do this two or three times in class. I'll do it one more time. You just want to press the heels right into the bench, and you can really feel your inner thighs tighten up right here. I always tell people you can do this, you know, wrapped around a chair, you know, when you're sitting at home watching TV, and they say, right, we're not doing this at home. And release. Okay. One more thing for the outer thighs. Now definitely for this exercise, if you have some beginner participants, you're gonna use a, wanna use a lighter weight band. Okay, what you do with the band, I'm gonna show you this from the front. So you're gonna take your band, you're gonna lay it across your shoelaces. People get confused and think that this is their shoelaces. You have to let them know that their shoelaces are right here. And you loop it in between. Okay, so you look just like this. We're gonna use this position for several other upper body exercises later on. Once again, from the side, now I demonstrate this, I tell them to, to pretend that I'm laying down right now, and this is how you set your resistance. Okay, you can pull the, the, the handles right down to your chest, and as it gets more difficult, you can ease up like this. Okay, so this is how they can set their resistance, just shortening up or lengthening the band. Okay, once again, we're gonna rock back up over. Okay, like I told you, you're gonna pull the handles right down to your chest. Now you always wanna keep your legs roughly about two feet apart. You don't want them in like this because the band's gonna loosen up too much. Okay, so you want your legs about two feet apart. You're gonna press out, out, in, and in. Out, out, in, and in. This again is another one of those exercises where you can do a million different variations of it. I'm just gonna show you how, how I do it and you can you know, take this and run with it. Give me two more, press it out, out, in, and in. Now once again, you wanna make sure those legs stay in line with the hips. Okay, you don't wanna have them hanging out here like this. You wanna make sure they're up over the hips, okay? Now we're just gonna press out, 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 and out. Nice pulsing move. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring it in and in. Take it out, out, in, and in. Out, out, in, and in. Out, out, in, and in. Now just out, in a little. Out, in a little. Out, in a little. Out, and in a little. Four more, then we're gonna pulse again. Three, two, and one, now pulse it out. Last eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, and one. All right, bring those legs in, and just rock it up. You take the tubes off. Now what you might wanna do with these two particular exercises is you may wanna stretch out right afterwards because those outer thigh muscles are gonna be really tight gluteus medius. So to stretch that muscle, you want to have your legs out. Now this would be inner thigh, in like this, and they're going to want to do that right away. But you want to stretch those legs out, turn the soles of your feet in together, and just lean forward. I usually stretch twice doing this. I try and hold this about 15, 20 seconds, because they're going to be really tight in through here, and it's going to even hurt to stretch. And then come back up one more time, and then stretch again. This will feel more comfortable for them. And you want to drop your elbows right down in between if you can and can get them to do that. And try and hold that stretch for about 20 seconds. 
Then you can go right into an inner thigh stretch right here where you hold the toes in and just drop your knees down out to the side. And once again, I would hold that for about 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. 30 seconds is better, but most classes have a time limit on them, okay? So that concludes Dynaband section, what I would call, and the tubing section for your inner outer thighs and also the glutes and your hamstrings. And I'll be right back to show you abdominals, lower back, and then we'll go to upper body.